What's up? I'm Coach Dan Blewett. In today's video, let's talk about the back leg in hitting. Does the back leg actually squish the bug, which is a long time teach that many coaches are still teaching, but does this actually happen with the best hitters in the world? All right, so let's look at this guy right here. This is a major leaguer. So if you look at his back foot, really it just sort of rolls inward and it turns and then the back toe is dragging as he makes contact. So this position is consistent across pretty much everyone at the highest levels. There's always some variation, right? But the really the toe gets to that dragging position because the back leg, the hips are rotating, but the back leg and the weight is transferring forward onto the front leg where the back leg essentially becomes unweighted or very close to it at contact. This is again consistent amongst pretty much all the best hitters in the world. So here's another lower half. Let's watch this big league hitter in action. So big high leg kick. And then watch the back foot. Does it really squish the bug? Or is the back hip really forcefully sort of moving towards the pitcher? Even on this, this is a check swing. You can see the back knee is driving forward because the hips are powerfully rotating towards the plate or towards the pitcher. Here's another one. Knee comes inward, hips rotate, weight is shifting into the front leg as the front leg braces on the ground and that back toe gets to that drag position, not staying flat with the back ball of the foot on the ground. So here's one more. This is a minor leaguer. And you'll see as the pitch comes in, the back toe and the knee are going to powerfully rotate, which is going to pull that foot off the ground into that toe, toe drag position. So again, this is consistent against pretty much all the best hitters in the world where the back leg is powerfully rotating and that forces the back foot off the ground rather than to stay in that squish the bug position that many of us are taught. So hopefully this video is helpful. Obviously seeing is believing and I wanted to use some slow motion video to just show you that the back foot doesn't really pivot in the way that we talk about when we say squish the bug. This is something that I was taught as a kid growing up. Many kids are still taught that today, but it's not really what happens in high level baseball, high, le high level hitting mechanics, the best hitters in the world, they don't really squish the bug. Their back hips have to rotate, of course, but the mechanics of it are not so that the back foot is going to stay in place with the cleats pivoting on the ground. That back leg is really shifting weight into the front leg as the front leg braces and that back knee is going to start to almost travel towards the plate or towards the pitcher in a sense. So that's really important to understand. But again, go back through this video, you know, stop it in different places, compare to yourself, get out your iPhone, look through the video. But obviously squishing the bug is one of those teaches that can maybe help young hitters understand just to get their hips going in the first place. But after they get that motion down, they're going to want to start to work towards the more high level hitting mechanics that you see from the best in the world. Because even though I showed a lot of examples of big leaguers, there's no reason a 12, 13, 14 year old can't have the same quality of swing as a big leaguer. The mechanics are the same, whether you're 10 years old or 35 in your 15th year in the bigs, right? So feel free to leave a comment below. I'll respond if you want to talk hitting a little bit. And obviously check out my books, my online courses. You'll find all those in the description as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.